Tom Matthews from Matthews Engineering here showing a modification to these, uh, I think it's F near C, I'm not sure how you say that, uh, GC-01 uh, radiation detector. These are pretty neat and I saw some other people uh, showing these and they complain that it you know, won't make the typical Geiger counter noise and I'm going to show a modification here that will get it to do that. It's got a very nice display with a, you know, a histogram window there or whatever you want to call that, a rolling count. Um, that's in micro sieverts per hour, so uh, nothing dangerous here. I think you've got to get into the you know mini millisieverts before you can even worry. But uh, what you can see that I did here, there's a little LED in here. Let's take a look at this first here. Let's look under here. So underneath here is the, there's the counter tube. And what I've done is I've, uh, there is a, a little LED that pops there every time it gets a count. And so what I did is I took an NFET, I took a BSS-138 uh, N channel, you know, general purpose FET. And uh, there is a piezo buzzer in this product and that buzzer makes a beep every time you hit a button, but it doesn't click when you, uh, you know, when a uh, radiation particle comes by. So what I did is I took the BSS-138 NFET, put it here, uh, there's these are this resistor and LED are inside the counter, but there's a 3.3 volt pulse signal here, lasts about 10 milliseconds. It goes to the gate of this NFET that I added to ground, and it just pulls the piezo buzzer down whenever it gets a pulse. I also added an eighth inch mono jack. I'll show you that why I did that. Uh, that's so that I can have external test equipment, like if you want a totalizing counter. Or if you want to see the pulses on a scope or drive some other gear, that's useful for that. I put a 1K ohm resistor here. This will drive mega ohm input, so that won't hurt anything, but that'll help protect this output in case it gets shorted to ground or something like that, or ESD tries to come in through here. Um, let's take a closer look at how I did this. Um, so uh, for the jack, I had to you know drill a hole here and punch a little hole in the rubber in the rub rubber. Um, and I think that's going to close up okay. And uh, let's look under the display here. And here's the setup. Um, so over here is the, this pin is the buzzer. Uh, that's that's the, uh, the side of the buzzer that I want to pull low. Here's the NFET. Uh, there's the um, uh, drain is connected to the buzzer. Uh, this goes over to ground. I can get a little better video. And then, uh, so over here by the LED, it's connecting to the LED. On this side, it's connecting the gate to the 3.3 um, volt pulse. And then there's the 1K resistor that's going out these wires with ground over here to the to the um, eight inch stereo jack. And then this is driving. You can see it over here on the scope. Um, you can see the. Uh, pulses when we get a radiation pulse it'll come over there uh, the other interesting thing is now you can use this pulse I've got a little one of these old realistic speakers uh, let's see if that'll work I don't think it's the perfect thing but if you want a real loud click you know you can drive that pulse into a speaker um, anyhow that's a modification uh, of the uh, nuclear radiation detector the GC-01 uh, Tom Matthews Matthews engineering